Hi guys. So my mom and I are here at Halo Halo Kitchen and it's a Filipino restaurant in Phoenix. So it's very, um, in an unassuming building, it's kind of like in the strip mall area and then you walk in and it's counter service. So they're open for breakfast and lunch and they close at six. So you can have like an early dinner. Um, but it's kind of like cafeteria style. You walk up and they serve you what you want and then you can sit down and enjoy your food. Very cute place, very authentic. So I'm super excited. This uh, is my first time actually having real Filipino food. The only other time I've ever had it was actually when I was in high school. Our bowling alley had lumpia. So I would like to thank Nelson and Gloria from Lancaster, California. They are the ones who actually recommended that we come and try Filipino foods. So Nelson and Gloria, I hope that you're, if you're watching that you enjoy this video. And thank you so much for being a subscriber and for recommending this video. And hopefully you will be happy with some of the choices that we try. All right, guys, let's get into the video. All right. So the first thing I'm going to try is beef machado. I'm hope sorry, I'm going to probably butcher a lot of these words. Um, but it looks like it's like a beef stew. So let's see. Mmm. Oh my god, that's good. The beef is so tender. It literally just flakes apart as soon as you put it in your mouth. And the flavors are just phenomenal. Mmm. It's savory and so well seasoned. Mmm. And I'm not even a beef stew person, and this is delicious. Mmm. All right. Time to try the chicken adobo, and it looks really good. They use, um, I think, chicken thigh, and it looks like it's bone in, because there is bone in it. So be very careful. Mmm. Mmm. The seasoning of it. Mm. That seasoning is so good. I don't even know, is adobo the seasoning? I don't even know, but whatever it is, I'm in love. <laughs> and the chicken is so tender. It literally, you don't even need a knife for it. You can use your fork to cut right into it. And it comes right off. Mm. But the seasoning in the sauce is definitely the star of that dish. Last up is the pansig. Pansig? Again, sorry if I'm totally butchering these words. Uh, it's the rice noodles. I love how thin they are. Mmm. Mmm. very delicious. The noodles are so thin and so light and then they have a little bit of like flavoring seasoning with the oil that they're cooked in and then they have some carrots and some celery and it looks like maybe some cabbage but it's delicious. This is pancit Filipino rice noodles. Mmm that's a good flavor. That is a really good flavor. And this is beef machado, which looks like beef stew. And it's delicious. Oh, that is good. Wow. This is the chicken adobo. And I'm not usually a chicken thigh eater. But the sauce is, I mean the taste, the flavor is really good. Really good. 
And of course I had to try the signature dessert, Halo Halo. And look at the size of this thing. It's huge. So he told me what was in it and hopefully it came through on the camera. So I'll insert a clip here if I can, um, if it worked out. But I remember he said there was beans and jackfruit with like evaporated or condensed milk and then um, ube ice cream is the purple. And that's all I remember. <laughs> What's the other thing? Ah. All right, taste it. All right, let's find out how this is. I don't have any idea how you're supposed to actually eat this. Oh, this looks like flan almost. Hmm. Hmm. It tastes exactly like flan. Let's see if I can get some of the stuff at the bottom here. It is a very, it's its own flavor. It's ube flavored. <laughs> it does taste a little bit coconutty, but it's really good. Mm. I don't know if I'm just eating this completely wrong, so I'm sorry, guys. Mm. Well, this restaurant was worth coming 25 minutes for. Now we have 25 minutes back, and then I'm off back to California. But if you're near here, I really recommend it, especially the beef machado. Uh, and now I know I like Filipino food, as long as I can get beef or chicken and not have to eat pork. So the thing I like about this place is that it's very unassuming. It's in a strip mall on the side of the road. Um, it's kind of tucked away. And just if you were driving past, you, most people probably wouldn't give it a second glance. But it's a mistake. This place is awesome. And it's locally owned, obviously. And they just have some amazing food. It feels like when it, it feels like when you're eating this food, like you are in someone's home and their mother has just cooked a really good meal. And that's exactly the kind of feeling you want when you eat foods like this. It just feels very homey, very comforting. Um, the service was great. The, the, peop the employees are very friendly, very kind. And it's not a fancy restaurant. It's not somewhere that you're going to see on travel blogs or with influencers on like Instagram or TikTok. The, it, this is not that kind of place. But I think if you're in Phoenix, this is a place that you should come check out, especially if you've never had Filipino food. Like I've never had it. And I am so glad that I came and checked this place out definitely worth the drive and now I know I really enjoy Filipino food so if you have other restaurants that you can recommend I will definitely be willing to travel to get more Filipino food in the future so with that said guys that's gonna end today's video again thank you so much to Nelson and Gloria for the recommendation and Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next adventure. Bye.